This is where I would be like back then. And I probably would have died by like age nine of dysentery or something. <laughs> I wouldn't, I'm not a strong enough person to make it to adulthood back in like the day before medicine. Are you crazy? Have you seen me? In all my travels, uh, furthest east I got was Southwest West Asia in the desert and the mountains. So, oh. I would uh, assume n just because of their location and access to stuff that the Middle East would be one of the places you just, like, I would just be so goddamn hot all the time, I wouldn't bother with, like, a shower. Even if I lived in a place like Dubai, I would just be like, I'm going to sweat it off in three minutes anyway. Like, oh, God, you, you know, <laughs> good morning, everyone. I, <laughs> I promise you that this is, is indeed LR Mornings, and you are indeed with Kyle and... Nick, and we're allowed to discuss hygiene yeah. sometimes, uh, even if it's I don't know the answer and I'm making in, things in, up. In 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 uh, so so it's it's fu funny. Um, I've been to to uh uh Ku Kuwait, Iraq, Kyrgyzstan, Af Afghanistan, like a lot of uh ar army guy guys that served during my time that did both Afghanistan and Iraq because used to be. To go to go to Afghanistan, you went through through Kyrgyzstan. To go to uh, Iraq, you went went through Kuwait. But anyway, Hayes, um, the air base uh, is there. What was that? You mean like that's where their air base is? Yeah, yeah. That was they like your closest your, before we did set up in those countries. Yeah, your safe your closest safe safe point point. Oh, okay. Like gotcha. all like, all around, so, yeah, like so to speak, safe point. And quote. So I yeah. don't know what they're actually called. Like the kind of place that Jonesy would live. Right. Like when you, we deployed to uh, Iraq, when you fly yeah. into Ku Kuwait, it was generally on a on a contracted uh, hmm. plane or uh, a C-17, um, which is sometimes good if you're – only seated on the side, but really cramped if you're sit seated in the, the middle. But uh, you would uh, usually fly straight to Kuwait International. Uh, you'd uh, climatize in Kuwait, do a little bit of tr training. Ah, uh, that's more and important then, when you're a soldier, right? Like, and then you would. My one of my sisters fiance comes to colorado he doesn't spend days climatizing but he does like yeah. can't walk and breathe for like a day and because denver's right a mile high <laughs> and you got to do the same for <laughs> afghanistan so after you do your climatizing and train up then you would fly in a military c-130 from kuwait to uh uh wherever you were going in in iraq and and then you might have to catch a hel helicopter from a bigger air base in iraq to a smaller base or whatever afghanistan you had to go climatize basically in in kyrgyzstan and then fly into uh um usually kandahar or bagram airfields so what and you're telling me is that people who came from forts in colorado didn't need the climatized day, right <laughs> they could fly them straight into afghanistan because they're like we got this shit <laughs> Oh, I man, train man, every man, day man. <laughs> in a mile high, <laughs> or man, or either man. that, or when they really needed more men, and let's say we run out of all, like it's we need to enlist everyone right now. Who do you start with? You enlist all of Colorado, <laughs> so you can just get them oh, over well, there and be like, "Here's a gun. You've already climatized. Go, go, go." I know that um, uh, Can't be that the Tenth Mountain Division up there in in upstate New York, York uh, at Fort Drum. Uh, that'll give you guys a run for your m money. Uh, 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 what is it there at Colorado? How do fourth I AD, I believe, is that Colorado? What? At Fort, uh, Carson? Oh, I don't know. I think it's f fourth ID. E? Fourth ID. Uh, My Carson. Grandpa. Yep. Okay. World Anyways. They had uh, back then anyway, but he was <laughs> stationed in Canada <laughs> to train Let's, with the Canadians. <laughs> Let's get to some uh fake uh fake uh ar army or fake uh m military stuff. Nick, you kind of missed out on Marvel Multiverse Mon I know. Mondays. I just listened to it all though. Yeah, what you what you think? Christine uh bro broke that cicada shit like shit, yeah, holy way fuck. more than I'd seen anyone else break it down. Yeah, um, because yeah, what the main thing about them besides the exact name she came up with 
is obviously mm-hmm. that yeah that they burrow like a witch would and only reappear once in a while right like, and they come and, back up to like feed on children or whatever the fuck yep witches are in this universe and they go dormant Again, and i guess the same thing can be associated with uh vampire folklore folklore yeah as well and the whole I- idea that um b- that there's both a real life brood waking up this yeah. year in New Jersey, and there's also a brood in the United States, not necessarily in New New Jersey, that will uh uh come up in t- 24, and uh which well, is the weird. year Wandavision is set in. Yeah. So that either way, it's it's cool hole in a real world meta and in a inside MCU real world meta. Both are uh, awesome and. It's cool. Well, I mean, they come out all the time. We're just talking about the big groups, like yeah. Don't you know the, what Cicada sounds one. like? Like, like live oh, out in the country a little bit. I know. What now, like are. my grandparents' house in Greeley. You know, you hear cicadas every summer. It's not like you don't get them every summer. It's just like you said, different broods. Mm-hmm. One thing that was supposed to happen last year that we're like, oh no, another 2020 thing is there's supposed to be one of the biggest releases of them ever, big enough to like cause a slight famine. But I never heard about that happening. Maybe it wasn't even in the U.S. Mm. I'd I say like, it's 2020. Oh no! Now we got killer cicadas. But yeah, that was great. Like, <laughs> yeah, no one else mentioned that, and I didn't think of looking at the exact type of cicada. At first, I thought I thought it was a fucking fly until I watched like new because yeah, I watch new rock stars after I come up with my own theories and heavy yeah. spoiler show. And this week, the every spoiler show was like, where they uh, where the show we watch you watch because New Rock Stars isn't quite out yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> but we're always they add a lot. To what? Yeah, we we are always in our our inside Slack and 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 mm-hmm. uh, ladies and gentlemen out there, we do have a dis- Discord link is in uh um the description or in the article um. Uh, discussions at, and descriptions yeah. and yada yada. Um, yeah, discussions with others often helps form our opinions too. I would say, Kyle, whether yes. it's uh, someone on Slack or hopefully someone in the future on uh, just turn that not opinions but like down. theories. You know, you like talk with someone and you're like, "Hey, what do you think?" And Cam's like, "Not Mephisto," and then <laughs> Danny's like, it's "Not Mephisto," and then <laughs> what's funny? Like, Shut up. <laughs> what's funny is like I said. So so like every every Friday morning, we're all in our slack spoiler room as the the lrm group but we do have that discord now and we're gonna start uh having our conversations there and um the the fun fun thing is is how many e easter eggs and things like that we all catch that that we'll see on on so many videos every now and then we catch catch something that we don't see on a video and then it's like something they p- pick up on later her um it's well, been fun and an exci- exciting ride being a a, a gunter <laughs> i'm an idiot uh i noticed something i've never even seen mentioned on the other side and it came true what i never said it what it was back when they released the original darcy poster like mm-hmm. at the beginning of the season, like before the season even came out, like that week they released a poster for every character. Right. You know how she has all the TV sets. The middle TV set is her circus outfit. Right. So like when I saw that, I was like, oh, she's definitely going to the hex. I, which we didn't, we didn't, only you called it that back then. I'm like, oh. oh, she's definitely going in. And then I brought it up even on Breaking Geek on Thursday before we saw it. And I'm like, yeah, I, sh- I don't know why she's wearing something that looks that old school, but. Yeah, I should have known because she's wearing that's not anything she's I ever think worn. <laughs> if we go go back to uh um that 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 first or se- second week of our c- coverage, whenever we saw that poster, I do think we t- talked. Did we a little bring bit. it up? I, I think so. we did because I brought up. I was like, I wonder what what that signifies and what era. She's likely in with it, which is a throw off if we were predicting that you're, because yep. it's 2010. I believe, I it's believe, like you guys said, it's we different. Were discussing, I can't remember if you guys or one of the videos I watched said this, but it's also the idea that the the vehicle, everything that gets changed 
when she expands it is just like random time. Like sometimes it's mm. modern, like modern family. Sometimes it's like 1930s circus style, and sometimes it's like that. You guys, you guys said that 90s truck, the truck right. in the last right. episode looked not like yeah, it wasn't modern and it wasn't old as fuck either. It was just like yeah, and as you see it expand, that that car lot changes into what it's like could super be an retro, 80s, it? 80s, yeah, style, yeah. Yeah, but like that, one of those, uh, like like the the funnel cake. Wait, what did you? What's that's not called a funnel cake. What's it called? Uh, the funnel of love. Yeah, yeah, funnel cake. Funnel well, cake I, I loved you getting obsessed about funnel cake. Oh I'm god, like, <laughs> I disagree with. Actually, I agree with them because I've never even thought to put fruit on something like that. I just they just put cinnamon. They put just put tons of powdered sugar on it at the local theme park, Elitches. Mm-hmm. There's but, um, places that do like uh, Cedar Point has a great one on. The um, b- b- back end of the park over by Millennium Force. I don't know why I'm talking like my audience all knows Cedar Point, like the back of their hand. No, but like, uh, but I anyways, like, I really liked your guys' tangents like that too. Like, oh. I'm like, I didn't know how much Kyle liked funnel kicks. This is great because <laughs> if, if, in case you guys haven't figured out, we're talking about uh, yesterday's Marvel Multiverse Monday, which Kyle mm-hmm. and his lovely wife had to do for me because I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know. Mental illness is weird. It happens. So and they did an excellent job. The only thing I want to add, not even add, I think you agree with me, that you didn't say explicitly and that I would say to like um, Cam or Danny, is that I do think the Mephisto moment if it is him, will just be like a turn over his shoulder Thanos moment. I don't think we're getting more than that because he's important later. Yeah. Like this is the Agatha probably gets defeated at the end of this series. I but and I maybe still she don't... gets killed by Wanda by pushing Wanda too far, M- may- making maybe. her a villain. One of the th- things about how Agatha is is she always in the c- comics maintains enough, you know, gray area to yeah. to um not not be locked out she's co- really completely. Not a villain. Well, no, she's, she's a gray. Villain, she's gray. She's but, not yeah. like a, she's, I mean, that, she's even like taking care of the Fantastic Four's kids. <laughs> yeah. And 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 there there's basically people try to they try to direct her her greed, right? Um it's that 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 uh whole idea of of it's easier to control control greed than it is to control j- jealousy. So if if you can have something that that per person uh um can obtain and make themselves better, uh you can direct that gre- greed, and that's kind of what they they do with Agatha, Agatha um, or try to by f- finding common uh uh goals i don't know how it's gonna be but i (laughs) i do want to point out that you and i uh we didn't shove mephisto everywhere like a lot of people uh i think you and i both were like like you said you said it on the podcast yeah we're like we're like die and then maybe and then we're like he's maybe (laughs) not even in there just pulling strings from from afar was basically what we've been saying for for a while we thought maybe pietro but even then we were like still again it might just be a trick a projection we didn't necessarily mean uh that he is in all these people and being behind everything doesn't necessarily mean like nick said a big showdown this this uh this series uh this yeah um i have a brand new theory that just struck me at this moment what's that that i think there's evidence and it's not that important but there's evidence to show that um the fake pietro is the witness protection program that's still gonna come up again in some form obviously Wu's not concerned about it right now but Cause I don't, he, we've seen, uh, cause he would, obviously he would recognize him if he was still watching WandaVision where he'd be like, Hey, that's my guy, you know? But, um, 
Darcy, we see, oh, we, she recast Pietro. And the next time we see the show playing, they're in the middle of, like, breaking into the firewall after being kicked out. Like, they're missing the episode. That's, mm. There's a clear shot of him saying, what happened to your accent? As they, like, run through a right. room to the room with the thing. Because, um, I mean, look, let's, let's be honest. New Jer- Super New Jersey, Super New York accent. Like, you know, if you're in witness protection, you're you may about have been to, in the uh, mob. You're piss off a lo- lot of I people. Know, <laughs> I, I, I'm being I'm being stereotypical. I'm being as stereotypical as Marvel is. And Marvel is like a movie universe. It's what you expect. Right, like, right. that's why he has that accent for no... The actor doesn't have that accent. The mm-hmm. last time he played Pietro, he didn't have that accent. I think that ties into him being maybe part of the mob or something. Some kind of supernatural mob, you know. Maybe people in New York, the mob is selling parts like in a... A vulture type way and we don't need to get all this but the the key phrase is being i was shot in the street like a chump so maybe yeah. he was saved because he was like a you know well you know either he was always an insider or probably yeah because probably an agent inside so maybe even a cree sleeper cell who gets shot and then saved by sword patched back up and then put in witness protection in a place called westview so when so that part of his story is true, and he's like, and when I woke up, like I, I got shot in the street like a chump, and when I woke up, I was like with you, because he's obviously just living there, and then uh, he's mm. the person, you know, Agatha just chooses, I think. I don't think she brings him into the bubble. She just chooses how to use people as different characters. Pa, 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 with pa, 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 scene. Pa, and her pa, hand would be the hand in the mirror with her being outside like that. Right, pa, by the way. possibly. I... <laughs> I think that's like just a I new theory. The There's nothing ever. No one's ever said that before, as far as I know. But that would be cool. yeah. No, it's a good theory. He, I, I, for just the LR Mornings group. Group. I think it's um. Uh, that mailman person. I think is one of her minions or spells or. I thought he was Ralph. Something early, like early that. On. Um, no, I thought he was the witness earlier on because she in the second first episode he shows right, up. Right, and that's, pew, pew, that's and he's like, oh, right. That's a that's a potential. She could have put a different type of spell on him and has him like quote him quote in her pocket, so to speak. Yeah, and he's she can you know change him into whatever she need, needs him to be. That whole presto who and rabbit and the thing. Rabbit this past scratchy. episodes. Of, a big sign about you know pull rabbits out of hat. Presto, I believe Chango, Nick Scratch pull. is the name of her son in the comics. Uh, Nick, Nick her husband Scratch was the son, and son's Scratch, name. and then the husband's last name is also Scratch. Well, I, um, I don't buy into any of that being Scratch related to this more than an Easter egg. Though, yeah. I don't think we're gonna see the rabbit turn into anybody. I just no. I, I, don't I would like be that mad if they. I think it's just an Easter egg. Yeah. And we're never going to um, see the children as arms of someone. That would be too terrifying. And I agree with uh, your wife that it would be way too terrifying that the kids have been undead. Disney cannot do that. It's just a no. Disney rule. You can't do that. <laughs> that would be far her too dark. Um, but uh, they're willing to go with Marvel's uh, zombies in animation form. So who who knows? Um, you can do zombies PG-13, though, you c- these days. You could. Uh, yeah, everyone loves Zombieland. I don't really? as much. That's a PG thirteen zombie uh, movie. No, it's I not. Think. It's rated R. R. It's rated R. Yeah, I know there have been PG thirteen All the b- ones. blood and cursing and dude, that's yeah. It's I a forgot hard R. Cursed in that movie. It's a hard R. Or fuck the the hell are you doing? <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in a long time. All right. <coughs> oh man, man. Plus, it was meant as a TV show, so I fi- figured that uh, it wasn't. I'm dumb. Let's move past it. Cut the check. <laughs> oh man, how do you feel feel about Ethan ha- Hawk coming in into the MCU uh, via via Moon Knight? Did we are did we not already know that? I mean, I just, I don't. I didn't know that. I, I didn't, didn't know it. But I assumed I didn't know it because the article wasn't. He's like just a joined. The article thing, was but, why he yeah. was cast, or why he was okay. Why he joined? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't. I think it's great because he's great all the time. Like, like it doesn't even matter who he's playing. Do we know who he's even playing? Nope. It's just yeah, and he's what a pair of actors, especially if he's the villain. Even if he's not the villain, like him mm-hmm. and Oscar Isaac, if they were vil- they were the two. 
having to fight each other. That's that's. I mean, this is movie quality casting. Like, mm-hmm. De- Marvel's definitely. not fucking it up. No. Like Catherine Hahn, I don't think her, she's not a movie star, but she's been in a lot of like Academy Award nominated movies and stuff. Like she's an indie star, and done yeah. lots of television. That's true. Because so far, I was I was just thinking so far in the TV series, we haven't seen any like A list movie actors. Mm. Wandavision, I can't think of another one. They're all oh, like you Marvel mean as, characters. Uh, other than other other than the the Marvel characters themselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I uh, um, yeah. What is the rumor from Festo Pacino? That would be the first break. So like, if if if. But he's basically just every Marvel franchise has an old classic actor everyone loves. Captain America, Robert Redford. Thor, Anthony Hopkins. And they had uh, T- Tommy Lee Jones in the first movie for Cap. Yeah. You have Annette Bening in uh, Captain Marvel even. Even Captain Marvel has like an older prestige actress. Uh, uh, Mike Douglas for what's his name? Oh, absolutely. He is uh-huh. like the key to that. <laughs> Uh, the only Ant-Man. reason I think they would ever make it a Paul Rudd movie that expensive is because they also got Michael Douglas. They're like, all yeah. right, that's I, it's It was kind of d- disappointing to not get Hank Ant-Man, but I also know there's no way in, in hell the MCU would ever touch the spousal abuse uh, yeah, or, or descent. Iron Man. Descent barely touching on alcoholism. Bear, bear. You could just bear, have avoided it. He, but I guess Scott Lang um, is pretty com- pumped. He's the funnier version in the comics. Yeah. And, even before the movie. Right. And then you also got, uh, uh, not Michael, uh, hey, Hank, Hank Pym's, um, breaks, you know, his mental breaks, not just when he strikes J- Janet in 616 or sprays her with bug spray and ultimates. Oh, ultimates, but, but it's a terrifying couple. Oh of God. Yeah. She's a mutant so and dark. actually like part in insect and it's ter- terrible. And yeah. Um, uh, even if you weren't part insect, if you were that small and someone's praying, yeah, the insect probably survives that stuff better than a human. It's just poison um, for a small, small being. They would never go that dark. Could, could go that, that way uh for per prime regular her mcu but um i appreciate that they did in the end because it lets you see a younger version of him working for shield in uh end game which is like, yeah i love when that like was funny i i wrote i wrote an article today about uh they're going to obviously address whatever beef uh, Ca- uh captain monica rambo has with Car- carol danvers in the next movie i mean captain marvel 2 Mm-hmm. Because obviously there's something going on. Little mm-hmm. point to scenes I don't agree with, like, but because obviously usually she's the driving force that pushes Monica to do something like walk through the wall. Like the last line she hears is like, "Your mom is like the coolest kid in the world," or whatever. Right. Um. Or toughest kid. I don't. I don't remember what it is. The the uh, Lieutenant Tr- Trouble line. Yeah. Yeah, Lieutenant Trouble. But then the one time she's actually mentioned in front of her. Except no, the the first time she doesn't look happy to hear Wanda. I mean, uh, if you, I think it was Darcy, not Wu, like say it. it was yeah, like, we're yeah, not going to talk about her. Talk about about it. It. Or, and yeah. then she really didn't have enough time to react. The time she was immediately kicked out of a shield, uh, a sword office after what's his, what's what's his face uh, just Hayward just fucking calls out Captain Marvel and then is like. Your mom would be, she, what does she say? Like, your mom, I'm glad your mom is, or you should be glad your mom is dead. Like, she'll shut up to see you like this or whatever. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> but anyway, um, how do we get to this? It was Captain Marvel 2. Uh, we were discussing maybe Monica. Yeah. What was I discussing about Monica? <laughs> I don't. Oh, just, oh, I was the, the talking about how. Um, Her- Harold. No, I was talking about originally how, like, by having these different time periods, mm-hmm. like, you know, we're able to go to the 60s and see uh, younger Hank Pym. It just makes it feel like a real universe, like, more right. than even, right. like, more than, like, Harry Potter, I would argue, or even, like, Star Wars or something. The movies alone. 
It's yeah. like, look, all of this is connected, but not like so connected that everyone knows everyone. Just connected enough to like, yeah, this happened back then, and this happened here, right. and just yeah, just the fact it just makes it feel so much more real. This show, when you have a character, it's like we saw that character and she was ten. Yeah, and now like that's like, how much time pa- passed in the mo- movie universe for for her with the snap. Yeah, yeah. she got snapped. No, she didn't get snapped. No, wait, she, she did. She- Oh, so she would be actually they timed this because I was wondering how old she had to be before the series started. And I was like, she probably didn't get snapped because I don't know. It's 90, but 95 Mm -mm. to 2024 minus five years. Yeah. 90. You're talking 95. It's only a little bit younger than me. 19. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. She, she's, she's my, my age should, should have been my, my age. But she's closer to yeah, a little bit younger than me. A <laughs> little younger than you, you now. How? Oh, so yeah, yeah. Well, thirty. Um, yeah. lots 20 of twenty year old. <laughs> lo- lots. Let's stick with the fucking Marvel shit for a minute. Uh, lots of photos came out from Falcon and Winter Soldier. Not really show. Not that showing exciting. off too much. Anything. <laughs> I wrote new. that article too. <laughs> yeah. Um, they look good. Uh, I'm excited about the show. Um, it's going to be very di- different from, from this, uh, people saw the, the, uh, new t- teaser or TV spot hot or what. I don't, I don't know what we're going to, is it really a TV spot? If it's for streaming service and pops up on, on YouTube first, like, like I haven't seen this one. I don't know. Anyway, longer like, than the 10, there was one that was released. No, I'm talking 19th. about the one from like la- last week. That's what I'm talk- talking about. Like that's the last there time. There was a new one last week. Oh, we... Super Bowl week was that first Super Bowl week? Maybe he. Uh, but there was, the Super Bowl ca- trailer came out, and then apparently the TV spot from the Super Bowl is actually very different footage from the trailer that I didn't realize. I thought the trailer was a longer version of it, but I just went watch watch the Super Bowl version that appeared on mm. TV again yesterday, and I was like, oh, this is a very different footage. Yeah. It's just thirty seconds. Uh, so they've, they've, we've seen quite a bit cool, cool shit. Um, one thing that b- bugged me and it came from a discussion, uh, that the Russo brothers have had to have a, th- a thousand time times in this, uh, in this, um, post in game game Bro, world. I wrote that article too. So go I ahead. <laughs> All three of these tie in. And I I walked out of Endgame uh, two years, three years, Jesus, through two years ago, go almost. And I understood very clearly when Cap stepped on that portal at the end, he was going to go to all of those all alternate timelines and set those stones in place. When he came back, the old guy, I knew that he picked one of those and stayed and replaced himself. And sure enough, you get the sh- shot of him and Peggy dancing, right? I walked out knowing and understood that Cap chose to, to go stay in an alternate t- timeline um, and then... Uh, age. And then use the suit. Use the suit to meet right where he left to make sure that the time shit doesn't fuck fuck up. And uh, I don't, I don't think I agree. I always thought he was in the main timeline, just hanging out with Peggy out of the way while the real Captain America took care of shit. Nope. Would you have to do that in any timeline, or did, or in your version, does he kill someone in the timeline he took no. over? He. He legitimately He's just, not a Nexus just just like the uh uh just like the um Russo brother said uh um he can't go back to this past timeline it doesn't wor- work that way as soon as you go go back you have Im- immediately changed and shifted into a t- tangent That's true but that's what's confusing is how he can't get back at all. Like their time because travel doesn't the work time as cl- GP- 
clearly G- as GPS. they think it does. It keeps the suit, the time, time GPS, and I'm very certain that in that case, uh, like underneath one of the foam things is a a uh, slew of excess uh, p- p- PEM pr- particles. Oh, yeah, they wouldn't fuck that up Just again. in case, exactly. <laughs> so... I understood all of all, and the Russo brothers came out, and they were like, "Yes, Cap stay stayed in an alternate timeline, came back to the mot to the main timeline at uh after you know probably outliving Peggy, you know, and uh uh you want to talk about her, Cap? No, nope, I don't. And I don't. uh <laughs> comes back to pa- pass off the like I I it was exp- explained explicitly in the mo- movie by by Hulk and and uh N- Nebula La and um uh uh p- partially a little bit by uh the the ancient one and then the biggest confusion started coming about when the guys that wrote the fucking script the w- words the the dialogue and and technically Marcus the and rules McFeely. gods disagreed with what they wrote <laughs> it said no in no, an hour mind he went back to to uh his uh main timeline because he knew that captain america would be uh, See, you said it doesn't I work that way yeah i thought that was how i don't it know I'll, all way. i know as soon is as that it's not he, the writer's decision even though i'm a writer and i will tell you why there are three drafts of a movie a screenplay <laughs> The screenplay, what what the director shoots, and then what is cut together. Right. So in the end, the director slash the editor has the final say. And even if the screenwriter is like, I meant this. They're like, no, I cut it so it sounds like this. It, it, even in the deleted... And I'm a writer, and I hate... That, that's an apt comparison. Well, like well, I'm just the first draft if I write a, let me, Avengers. Let me, <laughs> let me hit on... And they co-wrote it. <laughs> yeah, let me hit on those two guys a little bit, bit more on their... Uh, lack of paying attention, or or whatever the case may have been, uh, the the deleted scene where the time travel is ex- explained in the extended Hulk and and ancient one scene. That's how far back it go goes. It's even in a in a cut scene explained the exact same way. You cannot you have to show up at go just back the right time to, to return your, the stones, though. Right, you cannot go back to your t- timeline because in as the soon past, as you but do, in the present, apparently right. you can. Right. Okay, that's a difference then, because I've never watched a movie with those rules. Usually, the mm-hmm. rule is well, actually. I guess that's Back to the Future. Legitimately, all no, but even then, each I I just think about string theory too often. Where <laughs> every time there is a change, you do go a different direction. There's no way to get back to the original line because every right, time you travel back again, you'd be on a different line, and that's and no one t- would know anything happened. That's what you can't change your past. That's what t- Tony's device. I, I I don't know if people missed or thought that the the wording was funny. He calls it a working. Time, space, GPS. That means that he created a way to map space time and put in coordinates for that. And yes, you're right. As soon as you pop in, you've now started a change and created a tangent. But but the GPS basically marks I was here and now they can go back and and trace all of that that uh, it's all it's all it just there doesn't fit what movie. hulk says i don't think cuz hulk What's does that? simplify it to string theory i don't think it fits what hulk says i think it's it's way more complicated than what hulk says no cuz hulk it legitimate- the point of what hulk says is that no matter where you came from the next time period you're in is your future like cause right. you're from moving, that you feel forward, the movement that, that direction. Point forward. I go back yes. to the twenties. As far as I'm concerned, that's still moving forward in my life. I'm not like, and you'd be like, "Oh, Nick went back eighty years," and I'd be like, "I just went forward in my life." Okay, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? <laughs> that's the way Hulk explains it, which would make it feel like you couldn't actually go back to an old timeline. Except for Tony's line is actually a great line that writes away with one sentence. 
like they joke about in uh thank you for smoking um he's you know trying to sell they should have cigarettes in the movie Mm -hmm. and then he's like but how are we gonna have cigarettes he's talking with screenwriter in like an all auction environment and he's like just write some line like thank god we have this piece of tech oh (laughs) it's like yeah that's all you gotta do (laughs) yeah i think the hulk lays it out as closer to the string theory and not being able to actually re-emerge well here would be the... Which is why I was confused. That's how Hulk... Se- I feel like Hulk explained it differently than the movie's and, meant to explain and, it. And uh, all Cap has to do in order for, for it to, to work uh, 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 with an additional layer of, of di- difficulty is he has to wait in his uh, universe's t- timeline that he, that he was hanging out in with Peggy. Let's just call it uh, Earth t- two for the mo- moment. He has to hang out there until at least what do you mean one second to? after her he left. Uh, his original timeline. Boom! Now you've fixed it yeah. for the extra layer, and the time GPS it. still works just fine because now he's fits close now he's Loki traveling anyway. to a past point. Which when we see the does elevator exist. in Loki, it's like dimensions in time. So it's like, right, right. You can fuck with stuff. Like DB Cooper. Is mm-hmm. it 616 where he's DB Cooper? Or is it just like, does it matter? Did he rewrite time? Does it matter? Like, no. Or is yeah. that how we would, ex- that's how we would experience it. If that's how it happened, we wouldn't know that it was rewritten. Right. Po- because possibly. we're just humans and on our all- own timeline. And we would be on the split timeline where BD Cooper was a uh, Loki and never know that. And we don't, I mean, yeah, we don't know how much uh, interdimensional tr- travel Loki will be doing versus time travel. I within didn't think there would be one... any interdimensional travel until I saw the elevator. Explained. Yeah. And they... the elevator is more about dimensions than time. Yes. And, and he's obviously from a different, he's obviously in the old dimension too. Yes. Per, the like he, uh, No, he broke off from our official he, dimension. He, yeah. And my guess is, is. When he uses the space, I think the trailer think for Loki. Through space. Right. Well, I think the trailer for Loki well, already, is just yeah. interestingly cut. I think when he grabs that space stone, I think the TVA says, not this time. <laughs> and I th- think they, gr- they grab him while he's trying to get away. And that scene where we see him in Mo- what, what I'm ge- guessing is Mo- Mongolia. From all the context of the tra- <laughs> yeah. trailer, uh, um, uh, I think that's one of his fir- first missions, or or the TVA messing with him. I don't think that's. I didn't mm. notice. Is his uniform change when he's working for them, or was he always dressed like that? Because he's, to be fair, in that shot, he is dressed exactly like the he, Avengers. He he is, and it could have been one of those things where it's like he's in the elevator. No, and the elevator is in a uniform. Uh, yeah, he's in it like could, yeah, prison uniform. Right. It could TVA. potentially be uh, them messing with him, but it could also be that I just, I don't. Well, he's wearing he something dope when he's it, like the so. president Loki meme. Yeah. Uh, I'm that just trying to. from the comics. <laughs> they think um, because maybe, uh, no, it's, I guess, I guess he could accidentally. No, the time. I don't know. Oh, it's weird. It, it's it could be a interesting. I think we'll cut. definitely be seeing different dimensions just because of the yeah. stuff we see in the trailer, like planets getting destroyed. New York is destroyed. That's not time periods. Yeah, that's Mid, that's unless it's possible futures. And uh, there's a rumors Kang could be involved in this show as well, since Kang has already been cast for uh, um Kang for, for a Wan- while. Wandavision. No, King or, or for uh, for TVA, for, yeah. If he doesn't even, yeah, show for Loki. up in some version yeah. of Loki, in like in he's some cast way. early enough yeah. to be in that show, and it's not a secret either. Like if, if like again, if we see Mephisto is uh, you know, I, I, who knows why the rumor is Al Pacino, um, they'll be like, whoa. Whereas like if he that's shows up, metaphor- if that actor man. shows up, mm-hmm. as Kang shows up in Loki, I'd be like, that's awesome, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. This is why uh, you cast someone that much earlier than the shooting begins is to be like and now use him over here 
So <laughs> that's that's Nick Dahl's pick of the week or prediction of the week is that King the Conqueror will most definitely have some role in uh, Quantumania. I mean, no, in Loki before yeah. Quantumania because that seems to be like its own storyline as far as so, parallel to the sto- storyline of Doctor Strange fixing the multiverse is the storyline of what happens when the multiverse is broken. Yeah. And who does King blame first for time travel, which is his kind of thing? Yeah. Scott fucking Lang for accidentally doing it. Nah. That's why the casting made sense to me when they were like, why did they cast Kang in like a Ant-Man movie and not a like Avengers movie? Because he's an Avengers level threat. He is. Because like, Ant-Man is. was the first person to fuck. He... Oh, no. He'll be a bit. I think we'll see yeah. him for a few. Mo- That's what we'll I see just... him through yeah. Fantastic Four. We'll see him through Fantastic yeah. Four. Showing up here. I think he's the next, like, end game. Who do you want him t- to be, be? Do you want him to be the uh, distant uh, uh, Stark r- relative, the distant Richards, or the uh, uh, Iron Lad thing? Like, there's three versions of Kang. In None of them he's not related to those people? Because he's a Nexus guy, right? Mm-hmm. He's a Nexus character. Where it doesn't matter the dimension or the he's, time. He's beyond. He's, I'm Kang. I know beyond, what happened. Yes. And did I get beaten somehow? <laughs> I wouldn't mind. It's it's kind of... it's. Uh, I wonder what they're going to... There's so many blue p- people in the MCU already. I wonder... I won't if be upset. they're going to have him be blue or not, what do you think? Hink? Well, only as, I don't know. There's very different drawings of him throughout the era as far as his outfit. I don't think making his. I think you go full. Uh, it's not really fair to say that because he has a human face. I was just say go full Thanos with his face and like mm. perfect it as something slightly inhuman over. That actor's face. No, he's he's like he's so, a very but he's he, very human because he is a human basically, right? Uh, yeah, he's sort of yeah. <laughs> I would he's want a, him to be an unexplainable character, he's like evolved Thanos, a bit hit, <laughs> where it's not so simple that he's related to someone, or it's not so simple Thanos loves death. It's just like oh, here's a pissed off alien because of. No, he was right. People didn't listen to him. He's just a mad titan. And it's like, oh, and here's a pissed mm-hmm. off time traveler who's like, has no connection to them. But it's like, hey, this is my thing. And you guys are trying to do that. And that's not okay with me. That's like, usually been. Die. Yeah. How I don't think he needs to be been. related to anyone. I'd rather have a Kang being someone who didn't know that about the comics. Just to be like, just he's the guy who's tired of time travel. He's not related to any of them. But he's like, he only notices the Avengers. Just like Thanos only notices the Avengers when his first invasion goes wrong or whatever, or their first time travel trip. Like, he's suddenly... That's why I think he'd be the next Thanos. He's suddenly aware of this thing that's been protecting Earth, and he's like, oh, shit. These fuckers think they can time travel? I'm gonna, like, destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> then you can combine, like, your new Avenger, Young Avengers I think they'll do next. I think you do Young Avengers and then an Avengers movie with Kang and combine the Young Avengers and the older Avengers. Nathan- Nathaniel Richards. Um, Who's playing Kang, right? No, Nath- no, Nathaniel Richards is one of the v- oh. versions of Kang. Uh, the, yeah, the one's a Stark, Reed, like you said. Reed, uh, there's Iron Iron Lad uh, timeline and um, another one, hun. But... No, do, do do you think? Cause the um, uh, J- Jonathan Ma- Majors that's play playing him, um, he's so good in a uh, love Lovecraft, 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 yeah. Uh, I just I don't. We've had so many blue pe- people, so I don't think he's gonna be blue. Who? I don't. I'd say just leave him black. Yeah, but he's a black man. Like, just give him a funky time travel suit because there's no reason. I mean, Gotta. yeah, if he's a former human who learned how to time travel, he doesn't need to change his skin color. He's just like, I just think the best part about casting him is his voice. Like, I don't know, white people only have this much. 
<laughs> giant looming voice compared to like no one can <laughs> outdo James Earl Jones. Like it's so this guy's gonna outdo Josh Brolin <laughs> as far as like his <laughs> booming villain voice because he has a good voice on a uh, Lovecraft. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what you kind of want for a villain once in a while. Like, Josh Brolin has it because of the extra tech they add to change his voice. But, like, this guy's going to be like, fuck you. <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I can't do it, but, like, he's going to he's gonna sound scary. Hmm. Formidable, at the very yeah. least. <laughs> and and one, one version of Kang is, is um, uh, did rule ancient e- Egypt. I mean... He's a time That'd be a traveler, cool origin. Yeah. so uh, that's that's the one that's connected to the uh, Iron Lad ego, if I'm not not mistaken. Um, but you don't have to, uh, um, and you know you don't have to who make them um, all the the same as the co- comics. Yeah. You know, Nathaniel was... Richards does not. Uh, read, read Richards, uh, what, whatever. You get the p- p- well, point. The I race would, thing doesn't fucking ma- matter. I would yeah. do the uh, the Kevin. If I were Kevin Feige, I'd do the Deadpool thing, Deadpool two thing, where it's like, who cares about Cable's actual origin being the yeah. father to other characters you have you don't need to meet. It's like this guy isn't related to anyone. He's just someone who learned time travel, okay, made it okay. his fucking yeah. hobby, and then we yeah, went back and the ruled of, the uh, Egyptians or whatever. Cyclops and Gene. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They don't even like bring that up, even though they're in a similar universe. Like, mm-hmm. like that's. Have you seen um, the Deadpool PG thirteen cut? Once upon a Deadpool, no. and uh, all the good scenes are like the fifteen minutes added in of a. Uh, it's a shorter movie, obviously, but um, mm-hmm. what's his face from Wonder Years? Fred Savage. Fred Savage. Fred Savage. <laughs> um. There's a, you know, it keeps cutting to him so I can remove R-rated parts. Mm-hmm. And he's he's tied to the bed by Deadpool in a recreation of the set from the Wonder Years. Mm-hmm. No, from A Princess Bride. Mm. Um, at that point, he's, so, so you know, whatever, Cable shows up in the first scene and, he, and then it cuts to Fred Savage. I call him that because Super Troopers too. And he's like, whoa, you got Cable? It's like, I really hope you go into the intricacies of, like, his character's past and origin. And Deadpool's like, yeah. And they cut back to the movie where they don't they don't go into the comics at all. So yeah. I think if you do Kang, he's not related to any Avenger. He's just yeah hanging. Like, he's bad. He doesn't, like Thanos, he's not related to them. But he doesn't notice them until they break the right. rules, as Mordo would say about something. So... Yeah, because yeah, that's the thing. What I would do because MCU simplifies a lot of shit, and I wouldn't want to. We got twenty four movies or whatever behind us, and TV shows people aren't watching, but you can't go too crazy sometimes. Yeah, um, he is definitely. I I really wonder if we're gonna see a, um. Super v- villain team up for our next big event mo- movie. Um, whether it's a, a Secret Wars or a New Avengers, Young Avengers, Avengers 5 with a different subtitle, whole I don't n- know, but I, I really want to see. Not necessarily everyone versus one person again. Like Kang being yeah. like, you guys t- took, like, I can do some some shit, but you guys did figure out h- how to fuck with the guy that got all the stones and s- snapped half of existence out. Um, so I'm going to go get, you know, an Annihilus and Galactus and and some others and that's what we we end up with a, a version of secret war so to speak but not necessarily the the beyonder or whatever collecting people on battle world maybe oh, villains as cheesy as that story is 
I have read that, the first crossover of all time, and I would love to see the Russos do that because the Russos have expressed interest in yes. Secret War. Or Secret War. The Russo, I think, is just Secret War. No, it's Secret Wars. Oh, well, um, oh, almost. Oh, the Beyond, though. You don't even it. need the Beyond. You can use Kang as a cr- reason for Secret Wars. Yeah, Secret War. Or even Wars. you can use Secret Wars because Scarlet Witch creates this big tapestry of a planet where all of them are connected. So you want a battle wor- world? <sighs> I see, I no, almost... it's too cheesy. They would update, though. Yeah, it's like I, Planet Hulk is kind of cheesy. They'd find a way to make... I would, I would trust the Russos with it. They'd make it something cool. I would... Uh, That's where I think it, it almost becomes more of a a villain story of the villains like having that that and the movie's not long enough for that moment to give them both attention. Because I know what you're saying. We don't have. We make it a two fucking par par parter. You can't do that all the time, though. Yes, you can. Ease, ease, ease easily. Um, Every franchise gets. You're to gonna do watch it, it once. You're gonna watch. Yeah, it. shit, I am. I'm just saying. No, no oh, one can pull off that trick. It's gonna Mar- eventually. Marvel there'll be can. a bad Marvel, Marvel movie. Can. It'll no, hurt me. I pr- promise you. You announce Secret War Part One, twenty twenty. Three, oh, I might lose my fucking four, mind. Secret Wars Part Two. Who everybody would lose. The, no one would complain about them doing a two part no, or the, Secret Wars. But I'm just saying that I don't think any franchise has ever pulled off no. two parters twice. But Mar- Marvel could. Yeah, can, Marvel has the and best chance. Will <laughs> <laughs> I like that? But I, yes. I would. I would almost rather see the villains, several of them, be like, dude, these guys are no j- joke. They've got Guardians of the Galaxy. See this fucking group of Avengers. Did you see what they did to that Deviant Th- Thanos? You know, you know. now that we got the Eternals co- and Deviants ah, uh, yeah. fully co- coming in. Celestials are here. Like, um... So, some c- combination of it's like, like how the Earth annihilation was recognized after the first Avengers, how they make a note of that. Where mm-hmm. It's like now, like where Nick Fury's like, now everyone knows, <laughs> right? Right, and Vision even mentions that he's like, yeah, everyone knows and challenges, yeah, ri- and invites rising. conflict. And um, you could almost make it like the annihilation, this, 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 you got the f- Fantastic Four. Coming in, you can almost make it like the Annihilation Wave story to a degree where you've got I would do. Doom I like and and uh, a couple of others go going off and creating a team that starts coming back t- towards Earth, taking out, you know, intergalactic he- heroes and stuff on their way. way. And you kind of combine... Annihilation Wave with Secret Wars and boom, you got a really good story. The Russo brothers are back and, and Marvel makes b- more money than they did on Endgame, I think. <laughs> and then you make Young Avengers and let me tell you, or New Avengers, and it's using all these characters that haven't been used yet. <clears throat> Again, that we'll, we'll, we're seeing in the future, like Abomination, Zemo, uh, Leader, uh, uh, Justin Hammer. Like, we're seeing oh, all the ones that haven't been killed yet throughout these. What? For Thunderbolts? This one? Yeah. So I, I say we hook up a Thunderbolt to make them the Young Avengers villain, which I think will be a small. Because they're more streetwise villains, too. They're not like as cosmic as what the Avengers are becoming with Captain Marvel and well, like additions I mean, like that. Because the, the thun- kids, yeah, the kids' villains could be like you got Kate Bishop, you got the t- uh, the the new twins, you got um, if it's I say use She Hulk because let's call it the new Avengers, not just the young Avengers, and like Miss Marvel, um, Patriot, which is probably gonna show up or at least be teased in a uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and yeah, do you have some source that. on that, or you're just get guessing? Oh no, no, we're pretty sure that because because we're I think they announced. Well, they now. I think they announced that uh, a black African American actor was cast as, um, or at least is thought Brad, to be cast Bradley, as the the grandfather yeah, of Captain whatever, America. Ever. 
He sent me the first because it was like the Tuskegee yeah. you know, test where they gave the it test. to him. Yep. Which doesn't make as much sense in the MCU since I guess you give it, it to was him retcon to make sure to Cap that. doesn't turn out like a red skull yeah. and have like a skull face. But because his grandson is Patriot, and you know Marvel is working towards a Young Avengers very hard mm-hmm. with these Disney Plus series. I mean, Ironheart. I, so you'll I have a team with like an Iron I'm Man, a Cap, a Hulk, a uh, Speedster. Be uh, honest, do do you do you? Do 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 who you you think if you released a Young Avengers movie that it would be as successful as even Avengers One? Because I I think it'd be more successful than Avengers One. I don't, but just because of inflation and shit like that. Well, <laughs> okay. Because there everyone still sees a Marvel movie. Yes. And anything with I'll Avengers in the titles. Actually, no, I think it would still make a lot. I think it would make more than the average Marvel movie that year because Avengers is in the title. May, maybe. And I think I just, some people won't look past that, won't even see the trailer. And it's like, oh, I remember Avengers eight years ago. Yeah. Children, do you want to see a new Avengers film? <laughs> I just That's why I don't, you call it new or West Coast Avengers and use oh that. Oh God! Team. Don't call it West Coast Avengers. There's Feige won't do do that. New Avengers is is potential. I don't know about you, Young, and the re- reason why I, well, I bring it up as a movie these days, which is a popular comic. The the um uh uh the uh, Young Avengers of the comics are are not written. Uh, uh, necessarily PG thirteen, TV fourteen. The way the the MCU is like most com- comics, right? Whether it's Teen Titans or Young Avengers, yeah. no, no matter what, they're never uh the those t- teams are 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 still aimed at that twenty plus year old whole cra- crowd and especially the the uh gen gen x uh and old, older millennials marvel I don't... can make anything appeal to me p- p- I potentially mean, look he... at some of the weird ass shit they've done like, right especially even wandavision you know yes, of course i'm gonna but... like uh guardians i like space operas but like look at some of the stuff marvel's convinced me to like mm-hmm. thor for example i thought thor was the dumbest fucking idea in the world until i saw the movie and i'm like he works. Right. And I'm like, and I was like still excited for it. But I was like, Guardians of the Galaxy was like the dumbest fucking movie. This is where they fuck up. And I went to see the movie. And I'm like, it works. Like, I, they seem to have figured out how mm-hmm. to fix, like, any direction but they go. Here's... They seem to know why they're going there and can pull it off. Even if it's a new Here, weird. Here's the one thing, thing about all of those, those, though. Those are all... Even the odd ones like Guardians, and even though they changed up the 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 t- the team's makeup, the majority of the characters we've seen have existed for for quite some time. Have a uh, large built-in uh, 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 back Audience. back library of stories to dr- draw from, going sure. back decades. They have a audience like you said a fan base built in that a lot a lot of the more modern heroes don't don't necessarily have as much um appeal and it's like you like you just said uh it's it's up to them to make it uh appealing on on screen but but with some of the these young young characters characters i wonder if the the age themselves is the issue like there'll be a a, people can look at i guess um uh people that are like in their their 30s and 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 be because they're they're superheroes in the MCU, they're relatable enough. Like your your Black Widow, you know, late twenties, early thirties. Your your mm, your mm, Hawkeye, mm. whatever. Black I, Widow has that ass. I w- wonder if if too young of characters will be an issue for, for uh the older 
the 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 because the core audience of the MCU is still o- older. You know what I'm saying? Am I? I don't. No, think no, I'm no. That I one, mean, right? but mm, it's a four. They all all the movies so far have been four quadrant films, meaning men, women, yes. kids, Everyone and adults them. like them. My right. dad goes to them because he has to. My mom enjoys right. them. Exactly. I love them. My little sister, yep. female, my age group, loves it. Yes. You know, it's that's what we call it. Marvel and Pixar. No, Marvel more than Pixar because a lot of people have like a thing against animation. Right. Marvel right. and Star Wars are the perfect example of four quadrant films. And like the Nolan Batmans, but now I think DC's avoided by two <laughs> or three of the quadrants. Um so I yeah, I think I, and if anything, I think it's not even a TV series like Defenders, it's a Disney Plus movie maybe yeah, now I'm thinking that's the Young Avengers. And it could still be PG-13 yeah. an adult and like, you know, a teenager who's like let's say a 19-year-old someone can still say like shit once, you know, and there can still be a, like action and like a slight amount of blood and stuff. It just maybe TV is better than I mean streaming is better than making a 2-hour big screen film because all these characters are being introduced on the little well, screen. Right. I I I think I got what I was wanting to to say say it's easier for for people to look up to um someone older and and uh aspire to to be that and of course, people that are of that that age or had similar life experiences can as adult uh, uh, can relate with the adult character as ad- adults th- themselves. But it's harder for adults to to relate back to down to modern kids. That's what I'm you get, know, getting at. Like certain directors. In this case, we're saying companies will make you, you know, care about anything. Spielberg can make you care about kids today. Like, Uh, at least he did in the 80s. In the 80s, Spielberg made you care about kids at the time period. Adults love E.T. It's a a movie about kids. Uh, I don't really remember. I remember my parents' reaction to to it too much. I, I liked it, of course. Um... So I can't I speak I can't think um, of a great personal example. on that. I think, I, I think Marvel I can do it's the entire point. Well, there I, are plenty of series that we watch about teenagers, right? Mm, Aren't there? Well, not, like, we watch some well, I don't, like well, R-rated comedies are different, I guess. Like, I think of Superbad di- di- when I think of teenagers. And you watched movies. that at what a- age, though? I still love fucking Superbad. Right, it's, but, it's, but you first... It can't be done first, anymore because but you it's first too watched filthy. It, but. R- right, and all of those t- types of movies you watch watched at a certain age range and they've got nostalgia memories and you like them. Young. And, yeah. Uh, and, and that's all I'm p- pointing out is, is I think potentially the ages themselves, cause they're going young, younger in some cases than Tom Holland, like with Miss Marvel. She, she's how old playing, did they go with her? 14? I, uh, no, I think she's, Twelve or third, because they gotta age up the twins again before we Ms. see them Marvel. in a Young Avengers movie. We're not getting, see. we're not getting like some Roger, Robert Rodriguez like spy kids or Lava Shark Boy and Lava yeah. Girl shit. We're no, we're getting a I Marvel movie, that. so they can't. Oh no, be too she's young. actually sixteen, so she'll be yeah uh, one year. I think older they'll age the twins Tom up to a, at least fifteen. Also, like I think they'll all be upper like high schoolers, and I don't think we're gonna get any kids in the group. Yeah, and the thing, in case there's someone in the audience, oh, Kyle right there, kid, modern kid, Peter Parker, again, legacy character, one, he's Spider-Man, and he's Peter Parker, and two, he is a very timeless, uh, timelessly written uh, character type, which means you can put him anywhere from the 60s to today and he fits but that that's still a great point like yeah a spider-man works why couldn't a team of spider-man age characters work 
Like potentially all Avengers they, they that are can. his age. Look at look at Spider Verse though. No, that's what right? I'm saying. Like that Animation was my our biggest question. It's like it how do you make it. adults care? And it's like you make adults care by making all the characters Peter Parker. Like oh. not exactly, but like you know, like. Uh, like P- Peter Parker's PG thirteen, even though all the other right. characters, like all of his classmates are his age, blip or not. Right. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, the villains are usually like what? Oh, well, I guess it, the villains' age doesn't matter. Vulture's right. old as shit, and Jake Gyllenhaal could be as young as he wants. That damn sexy bastard. <laughs> but, uh, and that's I, how you make again, it work. If, I just uh, you put- get, in fact you get that director and you you. Tear him off of Fantastic Four, which is the movie I thought he should direct after Spider-Man 3. But now you put him on Young Avengers. Or after Fantastic Four, you give him Young Avengers. Make, make him your... your. Uh, so do you want a younger Fantastic Four then? Um, I, That's the problem. I want them to be about the age as the original movie. So that means there aren't like, any kids like involved, and they're not young enough to be in the younger Avengers like, either. Like young, like yeah, young thirties, low, like, low, like early whatever 30s, age Chris Evans 20s. was in that movie, mid twenties. Yeah, yeah. Which would mean Sue and Reed would have to be their late twenties, early thirties. I would say yeah, yeah. But again, again, I don't want them to look as young as fucking uh, what's his face from a. Miles that Tuck, drumming Teller. movie. Miles Teller looks so out of place. Like everyone except for him looks fine as far as Fantastic Four in that group. And he just tra- looks like tra- a child. <laughs> yeah, it's Fan Four stick. <laughs> I haven't seen that one though. But the original cast is not. I mean, I know there's been a resurgence just this weekend of memes about Jessica Alba. We're like, she wasn't that bad. Like that kind of stuff's been trending all weekend, defending the original well, cast. I just but, that idea, idea of of Jennifer Lawrence. Well, is, that's not happening. That's that so rumor dumb. is squashed. That's that would have been terrible. And I hate it for the same reason you brought up yep. on the multiverse podcast. She's already fucked up an opportunity to be a superhero, and her fame went ahead of character design and character development. Mm-hmm. And actors should come comfort, second to not the character. Even just her fame. Fame. I don't even. I don't even think it was was her just her. Well, really, her comfort. Well, she's using her fame to her get more of what comfort. she wants. Like, put yeah. me in blue less because I'm famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's the contract. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Um, not that her. Yeah. Not that she needed her face to be be seen. She just no, didn't no, want no, to no, fucking no, put no. The just shit like, look, now all. I'm fucking Jennifer. I'm Jennifer Lawrence, bitch. <laughs> now that I'm Jennifer Lawrence. I got You got a goddamn let Oscar. me just yeah. I'm not blue. We did the anymore, first movie of blue. No more blue. No more blue. I'm the mutant that says we shouldn't be ashamed to be mutants. That's and then we constantly are. not in my mutant and form. I also demand to be a good guy. Yeah. Because I'm Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> and Mystique should be a good guy. An original X Men. How about make her an original? We're never X-Men. gonna get to interview Jennifer Lawrence now. How? Way We're to go, Nick. You cost before. us J Law. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, me. this was like a, a Mar- Marvel Multiverse Monday times two because it and you know there's a because sh- I needed a shit ton to talk hawk about. Uh, in the end, I I think it's a challenge if they make uh, a new new Avengers with very contemporary uh, characters. Um, Meaning, you know, characters cr- created in in recent years, non non legacy, non um, going back decades for people to have grown up and be able to a- accept them in in a movie. Like I said, that's the difference between Peter Parker and uh, Miss Marvel. You know, yeah, both both sixteen, but you're you're talking one uh, one cre- created. In in modern modern times, uh, uh, with modern modern it, mm, I can't say the word, uh, with modern times in my mind versus a char- character that you've brought through th- through the decades. Um, I hope they can do it, and I final pitch, like you said, uh, the streaming s- series or streaming movie, movie that's that's where i think the young avengers should be tested at least i'm not saying they should never get a th- 
theatrical f- film. I'm saying they should be at least t- tested there first. Okay, one last pitch about it though. Jimmy Woo is their Nick Fury. He's the one who visits the that- end of any show and is like, "I'm Jimmy Woo. I want to form the Young Avengers." <laughs> Let me tell you about the young, or you do the champions. Let me tell you about the champions initiative and make it like a running joke. Um, and then he always has like a new magic trick where he's like, or maybe he just reviews, reveals a card every time that is like the do, <laughs> new Avengers initiative. Do you rem- remember the uh, 50, 50 state initiative comic run? No, probably not. Never nah. mind. Well, at least they, I haven't they read had that this one. Th- thing where they were going to have. Uh, uh, Avengers teams in all 50 states, basically. <laughs> he and uh, that's that's that word initiative. That's where it c- came from. It was mm. in the comics in that that 2007 2008 time, and uh, that's why they called it the Avengers Initiative in oh, gotcha. the MCU. That was taken right from current um, c- comics. So yeah. There, there you guys go. Go Marvel Multiverse, LR Mornings, and a little bit hit of <laughs> Comic Source all all r- rolled into one. Um, you guys, we got a lot of great stuff going on at the website. We need you to uh, uh, keep checking us out every day hey, at lrmonline.com. Uh, changes are coming, so keep your uh, eyes and ear, ears open. And the best way to not m- miss out on the changes and the new stuff and all, all that uh, classic LRM goodness is to fo- follow us on Twitter at uh, LRM underscore exclusive um, and su- subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, where you can get all of our podcasts now um, uh, on YouTube uh, live videos. LR mornings is usually live on th- Thursdays now. Um, and, and we have the, uh, podcast network as well wherever you get podcasts soundcloud is my recommendation because they they maintain our entire library while spotify and others might not but either way we're everywhere and we're for free so just hit that fo- follow button so you can be alerted to all the gr- great shows like L- lr mornings and anime versal reviews uh the, the cantina and some stuff nick will talk about about Oh, now? Yeah, now. Okay. now. I'm at Geeky Nick Doll on Twitter. And uh, I do this show. Well, I'm on this show sometimes. I don't do this show. Um, mm-hmm. I do Breaking, Breaking Geek Radio, the podcast. And I do uh, Marvel Multiverse Mondays with Kyle, with the exception of the one that was up yesterday. <laughs> and I write for LRM. And... Yeah, that'll do. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, you guys can uh, find me he, at that Kyle Mullen on Twitter. Sorry about the uh, long run time and some of the uh, stutters. My, my, I guess my brain's getting to me, me a bit um, today. Uh, at that Kyle Malone on Twitter. At that one Kyle Malone on Instagram. That's a number one. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. We will talk to you tomorrow.